We did it. You did it. Uh, we did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. With the way you were one step ahead of him? Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the Colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. How'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Well, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell, you'll let work. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The officer's mess. <laughs> All right. Looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna catch up with you. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's been a... Walk with me, son. Please. And Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. Is, Colonel. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone, I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you Lieutenant. You can't! Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Man, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen, when you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. St. John. I'm here, Captain. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. Sir, I was... You know, when I was young, we used to explore caves like these, looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes, thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens, in the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. 
Dismiss Corp. Sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out! Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. We gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John, come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. <laughs> yeah, heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes. In case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out! Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal, it's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on, I'm going to have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker, out. Weaver, yeah, I can barely hear you though. You're breaking up. This is damn cave. No surprise this didn't put out at all. Hey, I know where you can find an MP3 player. Okay, yeah, where's that? I was at a refugee camp at a community college when it got overrun. Community College? Uh, the one east of here off Highway 97? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, I'm gonna fight some stuff. Weaver, whatever you say. 
Gonna need some shotgun ammo. Burn the nests. Gonna need Molotovs. Ow. Say, John, to Captain Curry. Uh, it's done, sir. The kid is on his way back. Nothing. Flagpole, a big one. 
they fly the good old stars and stripes. Oh, very patient. Here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. St. John to Captain Coory. Uh, it's done, sir. The kid is on his way back. Good work, St. John. You've been a huge part of what makes us successful. The Deschutes County Militia would not be the same without you. Thank you, sir. Um, I will radio in later and make sure he made it. St. John out. Hemlock, yeah. Here's some. And here's some more. More hemlock, more hemlock. Need more hemlock. I need more. O'Brien, come in, O'Brien. I know you're on this channel. Drifter, I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. Yeah, I turned it off. Look, I need your help. I'm listening. My wife, the woman you helped me track down. I remember. I found her, O'Brien. She's alive. That's incredible. The odds of her making it out. No, look, I don't have time. Look. I found her, she's alive, and she's being held by, uh, the militia. The guys that you told me about. I'm sorry. Okay, look, I don't need your goddamn sympathy, I need your help. She's being held in a place I can't get to her. I need you to help me to break her out. You know I can't do that. Wait a second. Okay, but there's something you have to do for us first. You name it, I will do anything. Keep your radio on this time. I'll be in touch. Okay, O'Brien. O'Brien! Oh, damn it. Okay, just a few more. I gotta find more. That should do it. Dick and St. John to Captain Curry. Uh, how's that kid doing? Good. Well dehydrated. Good. Hungry. The cook tells me he's almost cleaned out the mess hall single handed. Well, tell him to save some for me. St. John out.
Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I can find. Oh, man, what do we have here? Oh, brother, you're a lifesaver, dude. Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John, you one of the deal ones, man. Brother from another mother. Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain. But the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. Colonel Garrett? Sir? Corporal. St. John, is it? Yes, sir. I, uh, I tracked down that AWOL soldier, Private Myers, and here is your Bible. And God Almighty shall have the final word. Did you bring him back alive? We have a noose waiting for him in the staging area. Uh, no, sir. Um, the anarchists got to him before I did, and they tortured him to death. Unfortunate. But God's will is God's justice. Uh, yes, sir. Carry on, Corporal. Okay, where the hell have you been? Meet me at the coordinates I've just transmitted. O'Brien out. O'Brien. O'Brien, oh, oh, Jesus, he's... Damn it. Corporal St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy working for the anarchists. Anarchists, again. Yes, you remember. He escaped before he could be apprehended. He was chased north, but our patrol lost him. I've marked the position he was last seen on your map. We need him alive, Corporal. We need to find out what he was doing here, how much he knows, and what his group wants. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. As do we all. As do we all. Dismissed. Boozer, you there? 
Lost Lake Camp. I'm in. Deke! That's good to hear from you, brother. How's it going? Yeah, it's, uh, everything's fine. Booze, man, it's, uh, I'm okay. Yeah? Bullshit. How long did we ride together? What's going on, brother? Uh, I, look, Sarah, it's a long story, but she's, she's part of the militia down here. She wants to come back with me, but now they, uh, they're forcing her to stay, booze, man. They're not gonna let us leave. What the hell? Forcing you to stay? Jesus, Dick. Where are you? Okay, I'm gonna grab Iron Mike, uh, uh, Ricky, some men. Look, we'll find a way down there. We'll, we'll... Boozer, no. No, you don't understand. They got hundreds of men, and they are armed. Shit, they stole from the National Guard, the military, and the... I don't give a shit what they've got. We're gonna... Oh, God damn it! listen to me. You, we cannot let the Colonel... Their leader find out about Lost Lake. He's crazy, Boozer. Batshit fucking crazy. The militia, they're attacking every camp that they come across. Drifters, squatters, campers makes no difference to them. Oh, Jesus, D. Look, I got this. I got this figured out. Just to, if anything happens to me, if, if you don't hear from me again, then. Deke, I think you're gonna figure this out like you said. Okay, you, you get Sarah and you get her the hell out of there. You hear me? That's more like it. Uh, uh, you're cutting out of the... I can't... Deke? Deke? I hear you, brother. I hear you. Deke it out. to Lost Lake, come back? Yeah, Ricky, what's up? Ricky? Boozer! Can you hear me? Dick in a Lost Lake camp, come back. Just, uh, checking in to see what else Addie needed. She... God damn it, Ricky, I don't know. Oh, Iron Mike said... Booze man! Ricky! Well, give him hell, Booze man. Give him hell. St. John, please report to me at Diamond Lake. Yes, Captain, I'm here. Uh, copy that.
check what the hell happened here. Uh, that might be worth having a look around. tells me he was one of our best riders. If you let him get away, you won't be able to catch him. Ah, we'll just see about that. St. John out. Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? Oh, you won't take me alive. Well, I think I already did. Ah, don't matter much to me one way or the other. Goddamn anarchists. Colonel, I've don't got him. Here. Transmitting the coordinates now. Let's see what I can do. Hey! You can't leave me!
So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating. Some faster than others. Mm -hmm. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them, so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Yeah, freak your shit. Freak your shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Oh, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it out. Brian, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. O'Brien. Oh, so while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah. That's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. Yeah, well, probably would. Say, John, out. What the hell? You, you didn't even see it coming. O'Brien, I uh, found him. ID says his name was Robinson. So, you guys have, uh, 
families. Managed to get them all out while shit was going down. I'm not gonna apologize for being lucky. Yeah, that doesn't look good. O'Brien, oh, I found your last man. I did reads Cooper. Copy that. Jesus. Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here right now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! So I shoot myself. He's down. Come on. Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? Cooper! His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no. <laughs> Once he's compromised, I'm not gonna make it. Let me talk to Chen. Get Chen in here now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? It was so fast. I just didn't see it coming. Can you tell me that a freak did all of this? Reacher. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper, are you there? Jen? I'm here. I can hear you. I can't believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Oh, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? So what the hell am I dealing with here, O'Brien? Talk to me. The guys at the lab nicknamed it the Reacher. Reacher. Those arms caused it. O'Brien, I got your samples. Hey, John! Get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! God, are you kidding me? Shit, they're getting close. Yeah, it's time to finish these guys off.
Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out, no thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. Brian, four men died from this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit. You crawl back into a cozy underground bunker or whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. God, what a damn shit. Five. Oh, you know, those men, Cooper, the others, they had no idea what they were walking into. But you did. Did you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted out. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. Corporal St. John, I've got an important assignment for you. Yes, sir. Whatever I can do to help. We sent a patrol north along Highway 97 to investigate a group of anarchists. Have you ever had a run-in with them before? Anarchists? The assholes that left those little fucking cairns all over the place? Yeah, yeah I've met them once or twice uh, way back in the day. I, I uh, thought they were all killed off. Evidently not. I've marked their location on your map. I'm sending you in alone in case any of our men are being held. <clears throat> yeah, I get it. I'll have a better chance of getting him out alive. Got it. The patrol commander, Sergeant Mitch Allen, is a personal friend of mine. <sighs> yes, sir. I'll, uh, I'll do what I can. I'm counting on you, Corporal. Dismissed. Colonel, reporting in. Did the, uh, patrol get the prisoner? Corporal, I'm afraid not. When they went to retrieve him, he was dead. What? Well, uh, dead? Poison. He killed himself. We're not sure how. Well, I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. Whatever knowledge he had about us, died with him. Yes, sir. St. John out. Oh, 
always be scrap. 